Hello everyone, today we're doing AMC 12A 2024, problem number 9. Okay, let m be the greatest integer such that m plus 1,213 equal x squared. You know, it's a perfect square. m plus 3,773 equals y squared, another perfect square. What is the unit digit of m? Okay, so we're given this expression. Let's try to get rid of the m's, you know, get rid of the variable. So we can subtract these two equations. So if we do x squared minus y squared, this would be m plus 1213 minus m plus 3773. This would be um, 1213 minus 3773. This would give us 2560. Uh, since we don't want the negative sign, let's multiply a negative number on both sides. So we have y squared minus x squared equals 2560. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, now, there really isn't much we could do besides, I guess, guessing and checking to find out the largest m possible. So let's just do that. Um, we see that this could be simplified to y plus x, y minus x equals 2560. So if 2560 could be 1 times 2560, and then we know obviously x, the y plus x has to be equal to that, and then the y minus x has to be equal to 1. So if we set this to be true, what will we get? y plus x equals 2560, y minus x equals 1. You know, 2y equals 2561. y is some really bad number right here. And there are perfect squares, right, of integers probably, so this probably won't work. And then we have 2 times 1, you know, 2560 divided by 2, so that would be 280, you know, y minus x equals that, and then y plus x equals this. So if we set up the system of equations, what will we get for x and y? 2y equals 1282, y is 641, then x would be 6, um, you know, x would be 641 minus 2, which would be 6, 3, 9. Okay, so that's pretty nice. So if we say y is, you know, 641, we want m to be the largest possible, right? m is the greatest integer. So we have y equals 641 as a contender here, and then x equals 639 as a contender here. Can we get a larger number for y, you know? Can we get a larger number for x? That way we can maximize m. Um, I don't know, so we should keep on doing this method. Uh, is 1280 divided, divisible by 3? It is not, because the digits don't sum to a number that's divisible by 3, so let's do 4 instead. 4 would be 320, so y minus x equals this, and then y plus x equals 320. So what will we get here? Equals 320. 2y equals 324, that means y is um, 162, and then x would be 162 minus um, four, so that would be 150, 158 right here. So y now would be 162, and then x would be 158. And we see immediately, you know, this is a smaller number than 641. 158 is a smaller number than 639. So this probably does not work. So let's, you know, try another number, you know, like, is 2560 is divisible by five, so we have like five times five, one, two, and then let's see, you know, if this is, does this, this give us a bigger number? So 2y equals 517, right? And then you see that 517 divided by 2 is not even a, you know, integer. So we could just ignore that. And then you just keep on doing this process down, and you'll see that the numbers usually get smaller with each iteration. You know, we will never see a number as big as y equals 641 and x equals 639. So we can be pretty confident that this will be the value that maximizes our m. Okay, so now let's just figure out uh, what m is to find out the unit's digits, right? Um, since we only care about the unit's digits, we don't need to do out the full calculation. So 641 squared minus 3773, and will be equal to that. And we only care about the unit's digit. So 641 squared, the unit digit will be a 1, subtracted by a 3, right? And this, you know, this will give us, this will give us like something that ends in 8, right? So answer choice E. Um, if you if you can't see that, you could just of course do out the full calculation. So six hundred forty one times six hundred forty one, it's not too bad. That would be six, one eight, eighteen, ten. It would be this number, and then you subtract by three thousand seven hundred seventy three, and then you'll see that the last digit would be you know an eight right here. So we could be pretty confident that the answer is E.